I used to do uh, commercial photography. I started out as a fashion photographer. Yes, yes, why? This exhibition uh, is not a solo exhibition, it's a duo exhibition. Uh, myself plus a friend who is, uh, is not a professional photographer like me. He's a businessman, but he's a very serious amateur uh, photographer. Now, when I came with, uh, first came with this idea, I told him, look Hans, I love your photography. You are a landscape photographer. I'm a people photographer. It's too different. Why not do an uh, exhibition together? Can, it can go very well. Because the fact that we two are so different photographers, he likes to shoot landscape, almost no people. And I, quite the opposite, I like to shoot uh, people. I rarely, I, I think, rarely shoot just landscape where there are no people. So I think those two different approaches can go well together. And indeed, the name of this exhibition, Two Realities, like the two different realities that we see and capture in our photography. When I first came to Thailand about five years ago, I was exposed to new images, new culture, new uh, visual information, and I was fascinated by it. So I started to uh, take photos in the, what you may call documentary portraits. It's very similar to the work I show here in this exhibition. I was simply fascinated by the people and the stories behind it. Also, this new culture was very fascinating to me. Even though I sometimes, most of the time, did not fully understand but as a photographer, I really wanted to try and capture this uh, beauty and the mystery around it. So I would say two major aspects really uh, interested me here in Thailand is the beauty and the mystery. Pretty soon I learned that uh, Muay Thai, the Thai boxing, is the national sport here in Thailand. It's very widespread, it's very important. I found out that some of the Thai families want the sons to go in this direction and therefore they, they sent them at a very early age to start training and even fighting this martial art Muay Thai. Those, those two photos I show here in this exhibition about the Muay Thai, one follow of the kid and the coach, and the other one of the grown-up uh, fighter, I took in Isan. This is not in Bangkok, in Isan. And I didn't know there will be children fighting. I knew I'm gonna see Muay Thai fights, but I never dreamt I would see children. I did not know back then that also children fighting Muay Thai here in Thailand. Yes. Well, again, uh, slowly I was exposed to this uh, ethnic group in Thailand, the uh, Thai Chinese ethnic group. And of course, I learned that they keep the tradition, the Chinese tradition, they celebrate the holidays, and they also uh, preserve ancient uh, cultural uh, performance of Chinese opera. I saw some photos on the internet. I was quite intrigued and I started to ask questions. Where is this? How can I get there? And so on. So slowly I made some connection that took me to those performances, Chinese opera. And I really was fascinated. And they allowed me backstage to take some photos. And again, this is something amazing to me. I asked nicely to, if I can take photos. I said yes. Uh, I have to say that in general, Thai people are very friendly. A lot more friendly than, you know, in the, in the West countries. And usually they don't mind if I take the photos. I always ask permission, of course. If someone say no, I respect that. I will never take photos if someone don't want it. But most of the time, they are friendly, they are okay with it, they are smiling and they're happy to help. So I didn't really have uh, any problems taking photos regarding that aspect. Yeah, that, that's 
That's a good question. Uh, I haven't uh, really thought about it, but now that you ask, I have to say that no, I don't think so, because most of the photos are, well, usually my photography is very intuitive, you know, especially the documentary. I don't stage the photos, especially in the Muay Thai photos. It's like I'm um, a fly on the wall. I'm just standing on the side and seeing things and trying to capture something that I find interesting and, uh, and some emotion or some character. But most so, so no, I wouldn't say so. I think it comes very natural. But of course, I'm always learning something new. As a photographer, I'm always uh, improving. I'm always learning not only as a photographer, also as a person. And I, I think I can say that today I'm a better man than I was five years ago, absolutely. And also a better photographer. <laughs>